the serve. The number one frustration, if you ask people across the country for the serve, coaches and players alike, is the toss. The drills we will now show you will stabilize your toss so that you can put it exactly where you want every time so that you're on balance, at contact, to get the most amount of power out of the motion that you currently have. I'm going to wind up, I'm going to toss, and I'm going to leave my racket right where the contact point is. If this contact is perfect, I can stand on my left foot for 15 seconds without any pressure. If it's slightly forward, I will feel it. If it's slightly too close, I will feel it. I want all of you now to go back and slowly find your contact point that you're used to and leave it there and see if you can stay there for 15 seconds. If not, I want you to then find it gently by putting it back over your side, over your hip, where your eye, your hip, and your foot are now in line. Now that you've found your balance point, second drill. Let's reinforce it. Follow this drill carefully in slow motion in the beginning. I recommend to you get your rhythm. Some of you would like to begin to wind up, toss, finish your swing, and look. And some of you will probably want to toss, wind up, finish your swing, and look. Either one are natural patterns of movement. The one you're most comfortable with, either the wind up, toss, or the toss, wind up, are perfectly fine to, for you to be able to go to your next level. The key to this drill now is to get the rhythm for where to toss and when to look over. Where to toss is the only thing we want you to think about in serving. This is the mental part of the serve, is what to think. Only think where to toss. Let all the other movements come in naturally. So I look up where I want to toss, finish my swing, and look. Or I can wind up, where am I going to toss, finish my swing, and look. Any other thought about your wind up or about where you're going to hit it will affect your toss. So the key to your toss is to put your eye where you want the ball to be, just like shooting in a basket, have a specific area, and your left hand will cooperate with your right hand if you're a right-handed server. Now, before we go to our third and final drill to stabilize your toss and your balance with your eye, do this test to make sure you can accomplish this drill before we're going forward. I want you to be able to serve, finish your swing, and look and be on balance 15 times in a row. Toss, finish, look, and be on balance. Toss, finish, look, and be on balance. And then you can speed it up and start to get a rhythm. And notice where my eye is after contact. I'm on balance. Now notice if this happens and your eye moves forward, you will lose your balance, lose your coordination to some degree. This is something you can now work on at home, take to the courts, and start practicing right away. Third and final drill is to strengthen this entire coordinated unit where your eye, your stroke, and your footwork, all three become a coordinated pattern that feels just perfectly synchronized. Wind up, toss, finish your swing, look. Wind up, toss, finish your swing, look. 15 in a row, and every time you swing, your eye should see the blur of your racket. That's where you're going to be tossing the ball, right there and then there. This drill, 15 times in a row, full speed, you will find a tremendous change in your internal balance, your total coordination system, all keyed to your eye, eliminating distractions and staying on target so you can be balanced at contact. Spin serve. Only change you make for the spin serve is where to toss. Where to toss will be one inch closer, change the angle so when you come through, you can spin the ball, and this becomes the beginning of spin and look, spin and look, spin and look, and the other toss, the flat serve, now you have the spin serve. Both of these serves you can do by changing where your eye looks for the ball so that you can toss it with your left hand or your right to that spot. Now we've just completed the physical training on the toss, where your eye should be, how to direct your hand, when to look over, and get these feelings memorized so that you're not thinking about them. That's the physical part. The mental part is a little more complicated, but for now, when you go to play in your matches, the tip I want to give you is to only think about where to toss. 
Do not think about your windup. Do not think about where it's going to go or how you're going to hit it. Just use the thought of where to toss so your eye will not be distracted and you can begin to have a balanced toss and let everything else begin to flow naturally. Want guaranteed improvement on your serve? Do your homework.